Previously during the investigation, York, the other me, my other personality. There are some things in this world that must be extracted, no matter what. York, I'm, I'm sorry, I... <laughs> Why can you cause me pain? Uh, 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 red tree! York and Zack. Finally, I understand. You two really are best friends. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. I'm sure he'll make you very happy. Hello, this is Conservative Cat, and welcome to episode 39 of my playthrough of Deadly Premonition. We have just defeated Forrest Kaysen. Emily, York tries not to show it, but he's pretty shy. Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. today? Maybe. Zach, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believe you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. Harry, I have a few questions for you. About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stewart, is it? No, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? The same reason as your father. Long, long ago. Hey, Michael. 
Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. girls too. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zack there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Girls are boring. <laughs> Gotta love them. Just full of energy. for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, please let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well then. I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. Ah, thank you, Michael. Okay, we have two objectives here in the epilogue. One is to get to the hotel marked over there, as well as see the last con car conversations and do any side quests we might want to do. And there are only two car conversations, and both of them are pretty short. It's just that, you know, sort of saying goodbye to York. I'll be quiet and let those uh, go along. Um, this is a great time to do um, uh, the other world sequences if you haven't done them yet. Um, since aside from one of the other world sequence rewards, they're not really that useful. Um, pretty much just the AR. You are. Can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. 
I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, Yoda. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. One more thing, York. I hope things are going well with Emily. You've always been horrible with women. I gave you tons of advice during your last relationship. And you ignored all of them. I'm sure Emily will take the lead. Just don't fight her. Let her steer you in the right direction. And here we are, last stretch. The last loading screen of the main plot. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. What's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend, then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away, to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. And that pretty much brings us to the end of my playthrough of Deadly Premonition. Certainly about this um, episode. Now, what did I think of the game itself? I really thought it was probably one of the best games I've ever played. Um, I can certainly see why it would gain a zero 
on some websites because the gameplay is pretty derivative. Some of the mechanics are a bit irritating. But um, ultimately I think the storyline and the characterizations are really good. I mean, it's obviously not going to be for everyone. It's a very specific sort of humor. The um, game itself has a very unique blend of comedy, drama, and honestly, while not scary in the, you know, jump scare, uh, and you know, the shadows themselves weren't that scary, some of the evil things that, um, like Kaysen or like his sort of dimension are pretty creepy. Um, some of the implications, like, uh, like the Kaysen was eventually planning to put Keith and Carol in, not Carol, um, Lily in that situation, you know, because he was really close with them. I, I have a feeling that's probably where it was going next. Um, and, you know, I mentioned before the gun in the back of, uh, Willie's, uh, dog tree, doghouse being, uh, the same one as, uh, York's father was, wheeled, was using. Um, I, I don't know. It was a really good script, I think. Um, I, there are some things, obviously, that could be explained, but I, I actually prefer it better this way. I like it sort of open-ended with some things not fully explained. That way it leaves it more open to interpretation, which is kind of what I think, you know, surreal sort of games like, or plots like this, or Twin Peaks, are, are, are a lot about. Um, I really love the sort of cosmic horror aspect of it. That's the theory I go with, uh, just because I really love cosmic horror. Um, I've heard that Swery is planning to do a sequel. I'm not sure what angle he'd take with that. Whether he'd follow York or if it'd be centered around Greenvale. Um, personally, I would be interested to see, learn more about the Red, uh, the Red Seeds and the Red World. Um, I think York's part of the story is pretty much finished, though. Because, well, obviously York, I meant Zack, uh. Because, you know, Zack has sort of completed his character arc and grown as a character, redeemed himself in a way, which is... Uh, that's another thing I really liked. It was not just a story of a character going from place to place. It was a story about a character growing and coming to his own, literally. Ultimately, very good game. Definitely worth investing in. Definitely worth playing if you like doing If you think this might be a good game you like. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet and let the credits roll that you listen to the music of the game. And again, thank you for watching. Have a good day.